Hi guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with a haul, but it's a little bit of a different haul. I went to the bins as usual this week, and it was just one of those weeks that like, it was real slim pickings. And it wasn't just me, it wasn't that it was crowded, it was actually kind of mellow there that day. But it was just, I, I couldn't find anything and anything decent that I found, you know, there were holes or, you know, big stains that I didn't think that I could get out. And it wasn't just me. It was, you know, the people that I'm friend, friendly with there were saying the same thing. They just weren't finding much. I don't know if it had something to do with maybe the fact, you know, we've just come through these crazy rains here in California. Maybe, you know, inventory got damaged or things just weren't coming into the, the bins, whatever the case may be. It was just, you know, kind of like a slow week. So I got what I could. I will say like the pieces that I found were excellent pieces and I'm really excited to share them with you. But I think I only got like 21 or 22 pieces. But because I didn't get too many pieces, I decided to supplement by going to one of my favorite little local kind of one-off thrift shops here in the area. And they always have really good stuff. Now you're gonna pay up a little bit for it. Like their regular stuff is more or less you know, Goodwill prices, $4, $5, $6, $7, whatever. Um, but they always have this boutique section that has, I kid you not, like couture gowns. I, I went this week and there was this, I almost got it. I almost got it, but what would I do with it? It was this 90s Richard Tyler, like plaid silk gown. Now, it had some damage on it. It needed a little bit of work, so it was a little bit like above my pay grade, but I'm still dreaming about that dress. I should have gotten it. Um, Again, what would I have done with it? I cannot, I cannot just get it for the fabric, but so I'm going to do first the half of the stuff that I got at the bins, and then I'm going to show you the stuff that I got at this little local shop. And there's not going to be a wrap up money wise because it's all muddled with it being, you know, like some from the bins and some from a higher dollar store. But, you know, it's a good place to go where if I'm, you know, only pulling in a few items on inventory, at least I know that I'm getting like top dollar high-end great condition stuff so first of all if you are new here welcome welcome aboard uh my name is julia that is who i am i talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling if that is something that you are into hit subscribe down below i would love to have you along on this journey without further ado guys i've got a lot of great stuff to show you i can't wait to show you some of these finds like there are some unbelievable things in here so sit back relax get a snack get a drink you know i've got my matcha and let's get into the goods. Okay, so we're gonna do the bin stuff first, and then we'll get into the higher dollar stuff. Can't wait to show you. Again, great stuff in both places. But first off, I found this really cute little moto jacket from Anthropology. This is from the brand Saturday Sunday. That's the label if you are unfamiliar with that. Uh, it's got this kind of like quilted, but it's like a floral quilted print. So it's got like two layers. It's nice and like cushy cozy. The collar is made of like a chunky knit and it's got this moto style uh, zip up to it and it's this really pretty maroon color. It's a size large, which I love to find. Um, probably somewhere between 30 and 35 on this. It's a little bit more of a substantial piece, but it is so cute and in fantastic condition. Really, really cute. Next up here, a great little bread and butter piece from Chico's. This is a size three, which I believe is a size large or extra large. I should really know this by now. I should really know this by now, but really, really cute. It's this like white or cream gauze. Look at the bell sleeves. I love a bell sleeve. It's got these kind of sheer lace in insets, but the cool thing, typically if you're a size large or an extra large, you're not able to go without a bra. Like that's just kind of off the table and if you see where these lace sections are, that's right where the strap would go. But right underneath the shoulder sections, there's another layer of lace. Do you see the difference between what's in front of the neck and what's in front of the shoulder? So it gives you that little bit of obscuring so you can actually wear a bra under this without it showing. The thought, I love that. Uh, but it's got these cute little gathers on the side. Very cute. I'll get somewhere probably between 28 and 32 on this piece. Very cute, very boho, and very good for like transitional weather, which we are rolling into quickly. I can't believe it's already like end of February. This is, this year is flying by. Next up, one of my favorite brands to find, especially in the bins, that's Standard by James Purse. 
Again, James Purse does basics better than pretty much anybody. It's always all about the fabric. This is a size three, which I believe is a size large. It's very stretchy. And this looks like a t-shirt. It's very much cut like a t-shirt, but it feels like sweater knit. It feels like an ultra lightweight sweater knit. And I, I don't really know how to describe that difference between the feeling of jersey and the feeling of sweater knit. But if you can see like, the sleeve is just one layer and then it's two layers over the bodice and it is as soft as could be. Either way, this is something I'll probably get somewhere between $25 and $35 on. It's got a little raw hem. I'll have to trim up the kind of hanging strings there, but very, very cute. Love to find that at the, at the bins. I just, I love it. I never find it in my size, of course, but <laughs> love it. Next up, now this is a brand that I found a couple times and I always sell it, this is I guess a designer. I always sell it for a pretty good price and that's Joseph Ribkoff. And that's the label you're looking for there. They make, it's a very distinctive style. They don't really do much in like natural fibers. They tend to be like a polyester, like they're really big on stretch. Everything I've gotten from them is like a good quality stretch. But look at this maxi dress. This is so funky. I love the print. I love that it's got the cheetah print and the zebra print, so I'll be able to use that like mob wife keyword, but it's just funky. It's mod. It's very mid-century. This is a maxi dress with two little slits in it, and this is in perfect condition. What size is this? Size eight, so a good size. Yeah, everything I've ever had from Joseph Ribkoff has sold quickly and for a pretty great price. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Might not be on most people's radar, so make sure you are keeping your eyes out for that label. Like this is, this is a great designer. Next up is this cute pair of Zara jeans. Now I'm very selective with the Zara jeans that I do pick up. I only really pick up newer tag, of course, and I only pick up kind of their more modern cuts. And this really falls into that. This is a cute little pair. I think this is a size too. So they're, they're, they might take a little bit longer to sell, but they have a distressed knee, kind of a straight or even maybe a slight boot cut leg, which I think, you know, I think we're going to start to see like trend moving from these baggier jeans, at least in like youth trend. We're going to see it moving from that like baggier leg to something a little bit more slim, like a boot cut. Uh, anyway, so this was a great find. Zara jeans go for a pretty good price for me. The last couple pairs that I've sold, I've gotten 40, $45 on. Uh, I never bank on that in my spreadsheet. It's always like 25 to 35, but always something to keep your eyes out for. Just be very mindful of the cut. Next up. Now, I, you know, it'll never cease to amaze me when I find these things in the bins and let me move my matcha out of the way. You'll understand why. So In the bins, in the bins. This is a gorgeous pair of trousers. It is such a classic cut. It's got the pleat front, uh, which is very modern right now. You're seeing very few people are getting anything with like a flat front. So this is something that people are searching for. They are all silk. This is like a silk twill on the outside and a fully lined in silk on the inside. They are a size four, so uh, something that'll make them sit for a little bit longer. These are thousand dollar pants and they've made it through. I mean, the thing that's amazing to me is that like, these have made it through time both at, did it have a good, yeah, it had a good, first of all, these sat at a Goodwill store and didn't get touched. Second of all, they made it all the way through the bins, cream silk in perfect condition. Not a stain, not a speck, not a pick, not a pull, nothing. Absolutely gorgeous. I will probably take these to the dry cleaner just in case. I mean, somebody who's gonna be in the market for something like this at this kind of level is gonna appreciate a nice, fresh, like, dry clean. Um, I recommend if you're if you're dealing in, like, high-end fabrics like this, I, I recommend doing that. If it's something, like I'll probably get somewhere close to 100, maybe a little bit more than 100 for these. If not, a, you know, if not close to 200, um, again, these are thousand dollar pants. But if you're working in that kind of stratosphere, spend the money, you know, find a great dry cleaner that you really like and give them the business and make sure that your customers are really dazzled. I, I want this to be a really great experience for whoever buys these. They are stunning. I, Carolina Herrera in the bins, guys. In the bins. 
Next up, this is a Bolo brand for sure. And this is a beautiful little short sleeve cashmere like sweater and that is ATM. It stands for somebody's name and for the life of me, I will never remember his name. I apologize. I'll put it on the screen down below because you know, credit where credit is due. But this is a beautiful little like, it's almost like, oh my God, I'm shedding on it. It's, it's almost like a whisper of like gray lavender. It's very, very light and I can't even tell like on the camera, I think this looks white, but you can actually see the contrast between my sweater, between my sweater and this. But this is like brand new. <laughs> this is like absolutely brand new condition. Like there's no pillage, you know, under the arms where it typically like rubs where, you know, cashmere, despite it being like the most amazing stuff in the world, it does pill, um, you know, pretty quickly. So, I don't know if this has ever been worn. This is something ATM, this probably would have been like a good three or $400 new. I think they sell it at Revolve. I think they sell it at Saks. You know, probably somewhere between 50 and $60 on this. I'm not quite sure. I've never had anything like this from them. I've never had a sweater. I've always had kind of like more t-shirt, more casual stuff. So um, TBD, but I would not be surprised if I get somewhere between 50 and 60 for that. Cause again, that's a three or $400 sweater. Next up, this was a cute little find. This is a We The Free. It is a size extra small, but in, you know, classic free people style, this could easily, I think, fit up to like a size medium. This is just like a little boho top that's got this kind of cantha style stitching. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but let me get you close. Do you see the little red stitches that kind of go over that? That's kind of a practice that came out of India. They make these things called um, cantha blankets out of old used saris, and they do this stitching over top, and it just makes it like really durable. Um, but it's a real nice like hand done detail because I don't think that that's something that can really be done by a machine. It's because it, you know by nature it's a little bit irregular, right? Like you want it to look like hand basted, and it's all over the entire yoke. And it's this ultra lightweight cotton with little like balloon sleeves and kind of like a voluminous bodice with a nice, um, I love the finishing on this. It's got this nice deep hem with like a little like, with a little like wrap stitch around the bottom. I don't know. This is super cute. I think I'll get somewhere like $35 for this just because of all the things it has going for it. Even though it is an extra small, like I said, I'm pretty sure this can comfortably fit a size medium. Um, I'll be sure to put like, measurements on this, but very cool find. I love shirts like this. They do tend to move very, very quickly for me, especially now as we're getting into that warm season. Next up, now I don't do kids all that often. I do only pick up things that are either like perfect condition from brands that I know will move. This is one of those brands that I know will move, and that is Janie and Jack. And this is brand new with tags here. Look at this adorable <laughs> little jumpsuit. Isn't this so cute? So it's like one shoulder with a little ruffle and a little strap here and wide legs and this cute little cheerful gingham. The cool thing about Janie and Jack is that like, you know, they don't, they're not trendy at all. Like they don't, you know, you never would have found skinny jeans there. That wasn't necessarily their vibe. It's the kind of place where you can go and find like a linen sailor suit for a little boy. Like there's not many places where you can find something like that. But the cool thing about it is if this is your style, if this is what you're looking for, number one, they're like infinitely resellable. This could easily be 15 years old and still be like classic. This is probably one of the more trendy pieces that they've ever made. But like you could easily decide that like you want your kid to wear Janie and Jack, you want them to look like a million bucks because their stuff is very expensive. This retailed for 71, but you can go and buy secondhand on Poshmark or eBay, whatever. Your kid can wear it for the, you know, two months that they actually fit it. And then boom, you can resell it on Poshmark or eBay for pretty much the same thing you paid for it. So why wouldn't you? I love picking up things like that for kids. I'll probably get 25 on that or so. That's That's been about the going rate of what I've been getting when I, you, for, for kind of everyday wear. When I've had a couple more special dresses, they've gone for a little bit more, but something like that, I'll probably get about $25 on. Next up, now this I picked up, I had never heard of it before, but the tag looked nice and the fabric felt like a dream. This is Sweat Tailor. Anybody ever hear of it? 
I don't know. But anyway, so I picked this up. I actually thought this was women's. And I got it home. It's a size medium. And when I started to like lay it out and take a look at it to like get it ready for pictures, I realized like that's men's darting in the back. Like this is a men's shirt. So I go online and take a look at it. And this is kind of their whole shtick. Their whole shtick is the, I can't remember what they call these. There's like a name for them. I'll put it down here on the screen. Um, but their whole thing is like they make these shirts that look like dress shirts. This looks and has all like the details of a dress shirt that you would wear at the office, like the button down collar and all that kind of stuff. Grow grain on the back of the placket here. Um, you know, so they make these things that look like a work shirt, but feel like a t-shirt. And this is really nice. This is really nice quality jersey. So I can imagine that this is something that would be big or can easily get big with like the uh, the Lululemon ABC pants crowd. You know, like it's funny. You used to see all these kind of like nicer, you know, people would go to Macy's or Lord & Taylor and get their dress slacks. But now any single person that I know that works in like business casual or business professional attire, they're wearing Lululemon dress pants, those ABC pants, which just FYI, if you see men's Lululemon like trousers, grab them. They sell very quick and usually... 50, 60, 70 dollars depending on the condition. So I can imagine that something like this would go really well with one of those Lululemon pants because it's same vein, you know, like look profesh, feel pajama. I'm not quite sure what I'll get on that. Uh, I think they retail for like 80 dollars. It is new with tags, there's a tag on the inside, so maybe 30, 35? I'm not quite sure. I haven't, I haven't comped that yet, so interested to see. Next up here, now this is something that I went back to like three or four times. I was not familiar with the label, but I'm like, it's silk, it's really pretty. It's this cute little like boho dress in this like, this is a pink and green. I don't think it like picks up too well. It's kind of a busier pattern here, but it's like, a, it's a pink and green little pattern. And the brand or the designer is Natalie Martin. If you've ever heard of her or seen her stuff, let me know because it's really beautiful. And it looks like this is kind of one of her signature style pieces. It's got this like pleat detail in the front with little fabric covered buttons. It's like an ampere waist, peasant sleeves with little pin tucking detail there. I have no idea if you can see that. This is a very busy pattern, but it is a size small, 100% silk, just light as a feather. I mean, I would love to find this in my size and wear nothing but this all summer. <laughs> like this is just right up my alley. It's a super expensive designer when I looked her up, somewhere in like the three to four hundred dollar range for something like this. So maybe somewhere forty to sixty dollars on this. I have no clue. I haven't done I haven't spent too much time comping it, but I can't wait to check it out. Uh, most of the ones that I saw were kind of in that range, so. Next up, this is a great little bread and butter piece. And this is from J. Jill. This is a pure Jill linen dress. It's a size medium, uh, but it's got, it's like, first of all, this beautiful cerulean blue. And why, why do I feel like Miranda Priestly when I say cerulean? It's actually cerulean. A little round neck. And the sleeves and the side panel here are stretchy. I don't know if you can like see that. So that's stretchy. So it gives you a little bit of movement. You know, sometimes when you get like a linen dress that, you know, you have those restrictions because it is a non-stretch fabric. So this kind of solves for that, right? This just looks so comfy cozy. Somewhere between $25 and $35 on this. And it is in fabulous shape. I just love this color. Next up, now this is something I've been picking up more recently because I I did a little test where I found two or three pieces and they sold really quick and for a decent price. And that is Victoria's Secret silk pieces. Now this is not old, which you're looking for if you're looking for Victoria's Secret, if you're looking to source it and really kind of get the big dollars for it. You're looking for what they call like the gold label. So that's the old, it's like stacked logo where it says Victoria's and Secret and the lettering is in gold. So that's what you're looking for. That's like early 90s, very like time of the supermodels. That's what people are looking for. But this I found, this is just a pajama top. And I looked all over for the bottom and I couldn't find it. But like truth be told, this is a size small. Yeah, size small. But truth be told, like I want this in my size and I would wear this as like a regular shirt. 
a thousand percent, I would wear this as a regular shirt. So I just, I bought it because I love it. And I know that there are other people, clearly stripes, there are other people in this world who would 100% wear this. It's like black and light gray, and it's in perfect condition. Super cute. I'll probably get about somewhere between 25 and 30 for that. Again, 100% silk, just beautiful. Next up, this is something that I may or may not put for sale. I'm going to offer it to my friend first just because... Uh, the girl is 100% sparkle, but she doesn't wear a lot of black. So I found this cute little camisole, and this is from Laundry by Shelly Seagal. So Shelly Seagal? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think this is older, and the base of this is knit. The base of this is like a lightweight sweater, and it is covered with these little paillettes. Do you hear it? I'll get this up a little bit closer. I love that sound. This is covered, and I mean, like, I'm talking even the straps are covered in paillettes. If I sell this, this will probably go, I don't know, probably somewhere in the $30 to $40 range, because it's really nice, but I am going to offer this to my friend first, because the girl is a walking sequin, so. Next up, now this is a great little vintage piece that I found. This is a little Lacoste v-neck sweater. Real classic little golf piece. Now, if you are interested in getting the ones that people are really looking for, you want to look for the ones that have the Lacoste gaiter here. If you're not familiar with the gaiter, that's the gaiter. You're looking for the one with the Lacoste gaiter, but then the tag that says Isa. That tells you that it is pre, I think it's 1993 when they stopped that partnership. I don't really know the details around the partnership, but I do know it was something that ran like from the 50s to the 90s. So. There must be a history there. There must be a reason that they kind of split. But either way, this is, I think, from the later 90s, just going by the tags. Uh, but super cute. Just like a basic black little V-neck sweater. Probably somewhere between 20 to 30 on this. I have a feeling that this is something that will sell uh, more on Depop versus, like, Poshmark. So... It's very much kind of in that vein. Next up, now this is a brand I have not found much of, but the stuff that I have found has been so nice, and that is Eloqui. And Eloqui makes, I really, their, I think their thing is that they are like a very size inclusive company, and I am like living for this jacket. This is a size 28, which I think is the equivalent to a 4X. But it's this beautiful green, almost like smoking jacket. It's got this cute little like shawl collar and this little double, uh, little double button closure there. It does look like it used to have a belt. Um, I could not find the belt for the life of me, but I don't think that that's gonna like prevent this from selling. I just think this is so cute on its own. And I don't know if you're catching this, but it's got this cute little like, do you see that turquoise piping and that little contrast piping there? I think I'll probably get somewhere between 35 and 45 on this. I just think this is so lovely and such a cool statement piece. Next up here, this was just a little pair of shorts that I picked up because I thought that the fleece felt really nice. And I love this color. I've sold two or three things literally like in the last two days that are this color. And they're things that I've gotten pretty recently. And when I looked at the tag, it's just talentless. And I think... Um, I think this is a brand that's owned by Scott Disick, who is like one of the Kardashians' ex-husbands or ex-boyfriends or whatever the case may be. I'm not a huge fan of the Kardashians. I'm sure that's surprising to nobody. But I gotta say, like, these are nice. These are really nice. Like, this is a really high-quality fleece. The finishing's really nice. And when I did some comps on them, I think they're a size small. No, they're size medium. When I did a little comping on them, they were selling for between 20 and 25 bucks. So um, I'm, I'd am i be pleased to get that. I do think that they're really cute and I will be keeping my eyes out for more talentless pieces. Yeah, like I said, really surprisingly very, very nice quality there. Next up, oh my God, this was such a cool find. This, <laughs> I just saw like a little bit of this lace trim and this fabric like peeking up from the bin. And I grabbed it, and I could not believe what I was seeing. This is a vintage Betsy Johnson little cocktail dress. I am obsessed with the color combo. It is not something that I could pull off, but I just, I, it is so Betsy to me. Like, I look at this, and this couldn't be more Betsy Johnson. This is in, like, perfect condition. It's, it's like, T-length, like, just below the knee. It's got this beautiful red embroidery, like, right under the bust. It's got that little lingerie look with a tie back. 
Ugh. And it's a size large. I love it. This has to be early 2000s. I don't think this is 90s. I do think this is early 2000s. And I gotta say, this screams Y2K to me. Like, this is the kind of thing that I would have killed to have for, like, my sorority formal, you know? Either way, I think, I mean, so, vintage stuff from Y2K from Betsy goes between $50 and $150, depending on style. So I'm not quite sure. I'm always gonna bank on the low end. But man, was this, this just like made me giddy. Like 18 year old Julia is very jealous of this find. Next up, now this is, uh, I've picked up a couple of these. They always sell really, really quick. In fact, I think I've had this exact one, the same brand. This is a little boho kind of crochet lace looking kimono. So it's got that pretty sleeve. It's got these pretty flowers on the back. These usually go, they're great bundle pieces. These will usually go somewhere between like $15 and $25. Uh, but they're very boho, they're very festival. Like these are the kind of things that will start popping off of people's uh, closets like right before Coachella. Because this is like a perfect thing to have for Coachella because it's hot during the day. But this has like, a, you know, this obviously has a ton of ventilation. And at night it does give you that little like extra layer of warmth. So. Can't wait to get that one listed because Coachella is quickly coming up. Next up was this guy, and I cannot remember the name of this. I did just look this up like, I don't know, 10 minutes before I started filming. But this is a little free people dress in this gorgeous like saffron color. It's midi length. Look at how much fabric that is. It's like double layer gauze. It's got this beautiful smocked top that when it's on, it does this, like it's not, See how there's like breaks in the smocking there? So that actually gives it a little bit of a texture when it's on the body. It's really cute. And it's got this little split ruffle on it. It's off the shoulder. Um, all the elastics in great shape. I think this is from last year. This particular dress, depending on the color, depending on the size, and this is a size large, always great to find in free people. And depending on the size, they go between like 50 and $70. I don't think this is one of those dresses that like started, you know, like retailed for $260 and because of that is more expensive. I think this was just like in their regular line at like $128 and it's just very in demand. It's a very flattering cut. It's very flattering length and the quality is really nice. So I understand why and I just, I love this color. I love this color. It's not a color I could ever wear uh, ever in my life, but I do love it and I wish I could. Probably somewhere between 40 and 60 bucks on that. Next up, you know I'm such a sucker for a vintage piece. And look at this stunner. So this I saw, this is all raw silk. It is just below knee length. And I like this whole bodice is in such perfect condition. It's got this little boat, like uh, this little round neck. It's got elbow length sleeves that are finished in that same raw silk, just beautiful. There's a, there's a nude illusion behind this lace to give it a little bit more body. There is unfortunately a little bit of damage on this sleeve. I'm gonna see how much I can clean this up, but I just think this is the most gorgeous dress. And it, like, I'll put it this way. I didn't see this part until I got home, but it was, it, it's in such good shape otherwise that I was not sure that it was vintage. So when I got it home, I went like looking for the label. And sure enough, there's the label. It says Wayne Fuller. And then it says Albrecht's. I'm assuming Albrecht's was the store that it was sold in. It is just gorgeous. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can do something to make this a little bit less noticeable. So I'm not quite sure what I'll be able to get for this until I kind of assess this damage here. I might even be able to like have a tailor help me like move things around to like hide it, but it is just beautiful. And honestly, this might be my size. So it might just live in my closet until I get to wear it for an event before I sell it off. Uh, perks of the job, but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. Next up, this is one of my favorite brands. This is one of my favorite like kinds of things to find. This is from a company, a company called Collective. So Collective is very much in the same vein as like a mod cloth or like a, um, like a unique vintage. So it's all these kind of like new, newly made like retro style dresses. 
So I thought this was really adorable. The size tag is cut off, so I'm gonna have to do some uh, sizing. I think this is probably about a size 12 US. Collective, I believe, is a UK brand. Um, and I do think that they are sold in mod cloth from time to time. They tend to be, from my experience, the more the more expensive of those brands. Something like this was probably like 150 to 175 dollars. Like I've, I just recently had a sweater that I sold and it sold, it was just like a cute little like basic sweater and had these little palm leaves on the sleeves and that sold for like $45. So I'm gonna bank on maybe $45 on this, maybe a little bit up, but I just thought this was such a great find. Definitely a brand to be on the lookout for if you are not already like keyed into collective. That's a great, great find. So now we're gonna dive into the pieces from the little thrift shop that I went to for some nicer, higher quality pieces. So. I'll dive in, I'll let you know what everything costs. So first thing I found here, and I think I paid $4 for this one. This is a gorgeous little Eileen Fisher dress. One of my favorite brands to find. And I love this little dress. I think this is technically a tunic because it's a little too short to be a dress. Um, and it's like the side vents are pretty high. I feel like the side vents are gonna come up and hit like mid hip but it's got this cute little pocket, that drapey pocket in the front. It's that really like nice drapey jersey. It's got like bracelet length sleeves that are kind of wider. This is something, again, I think I paid $4 for it. I'll probably get somewhere in the vicinity of 35 to 45 on this. This is just a great little classic um, Eileen Fisher piece. Next up, this was a cool find. This one was also $4. This is a little tennis skirt, but it is from the Adidas collab with Stella McCartney. Uh, let me show you the tag on the inside. Now, Adidas does a lot of collabs. Um, probably the most sought after is the Y3 line that he did with Yoji Yamamoto. Um, anything from that line is going to go in a at like a pretty serious price, somewhere 50 to to $100. I've rarely been able to find anything under that on the resale market, but Stella McCartney is still pretty sought after. I love this little skirt. It's navy blue. It's got these cute little like perforations in the skirt, and then the under shorts are gray. So they kind of pop through. You've got this little like little flash of, you know, variation there. Uh, this is in perfect condition, size medium. This is something I'll probably get somewhere between 28 to 32 on, maybe a little bit more. I did pay $4 for this, so still a pretty good investment, still a pretty good return on investment. Uh, generally when I'm paying up, like my baseline rule is that I try to get three times the price minimum. So say I buy something for $10, I wanna make sure that it's something that I can sell for 30 to make sure that there's enough like meat on the bone to make it worth my time picking it up, my time laundering it, listing it, photographing it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's my general rule of thumb and that's my four. So if it's not making that number, it ain't getting picked up. <laughs> Next up here, this was such an awesome find. This is a cute little jacket from Free People Movement. Um, I think this is last year's model. The one that they make this year has a big like front flap on it, but it is this pretty like coppery, burnt orange color pop over jacket um, with a little zip. This is a size small and I gotta say, I am pretty sure this would fit me. I'm almost positive this would fit me. They make these very, very oversized. This is in like brand new condition. Uh, these go for about $200 new. I think it's like $198. And I believe on the resale market, they're going between 100 to 150, depending on color and size and all that. So I paid, I think $32 for this. So I paid up for this, um, but I'm pretty confident that this will go for a pretty great price pretty quickly. Um, how many times can I say pretty? Anyway, this was a great find and it's super cozy. Like I really, I've never like held one of these and I'm kind of impressed. Like this feels nice and cozy, but not too heavy. Uh, this would be a perfect like winter jacket for Californians. Super cute. I'm very excited about that one. Next up here, I grabbed these and I knew exactly what they were as soon as I put my hand on them. I think I paid $6 for these. And these are a pair of Lululemon like run tights. 
Um, there's a little logo there on the leg. I found that after the fact. But I think this is the Luxstream fabric. And Luxstream, if you're not familiar with the Lululemon textiles, an easy way to kind of tell what you're getting into, like if you've never had your hands on them, you've never been in store, anything with the word Lux in it, so like Luxstream, New Lux, Everlux, um, etc., full on Luxstream, whatever. Those are all going to be non brushed finishes, which mean that they're like a finish with a little bit of slip to them, right? So the new Lux is going to be the thinnest. That's my personal favorite fabric. It's got a lot of slip to it and it feels like no compression whatsoever. Then you have Luxstream, which has a little bit more compression, and then up to like the Everlux, which has a lot of compression. And the reverse being if you're looking at any fabrics that have a Lou in it. So New Lou, Luan, Rulu, same deal. Like Nulu is basically the fabric that they make the lines out of and these all have brushed finishes. So when you think about like if you are buying a pair of leggings, if you're trying to buy your first pair of Lululemon leggings and say you want to get them to run in, you're going to want to look for something with Lux in the fabric name because anything brushed is going to pill. So like the Luan is their classic fabric. That's what like their flare leggings were back in the day. Their groove pants were back in the day. I'm sorry, we called them yoga pants. Now they're called flare leggings, but they were yoga pants back in the day. So Luan was like their first fabric that they made. And it was notorious for pilling between the legs, right? So those are more suited for like yoga, slower movement, nothing with a ton of repetitive movement. If you're a runner, you want to stick to something with luxe in it. Also bonus, if you are somebody with a lot of pets, any of the luxe fabrics do not collect lint or pet hair or anything. Anyway, so these are Luxstream. I, I think these are like the speed up tights. I think that's what they're called. I think they were like a, a limited edition of the speed up tights, but they're a size six in fantastic condition. So for six bucks, I'm gonna get that all day. I think I'll be able to get somewhere between 35 and 45 on these. Sorry for the tangent on Lululemon fabrics. It's just something that I was really confused about when I first started buying Lululemon leggings. And it's it just an easy way to tell kind of what you're getting. Next up, another Lululemon piece, and this, coincidentally, is in the Nulu fabric, so that's the, um, that is the fabric that they make the lines out of, so it's a nice brushed finish. Uh, and this is just a cute little, like, oversized sweatshirt. I think I paid $12 for this. I paid up a little bit on this. I think I'll be able to get about $45 on it, though. Um, so it's got this kind of fold-over collar that, like, wraps in the front. I don't know how well that's showing there. There is no size tag on this and no size dot, so I'm going to have to pull the measurements. I'm pretty sure this is either a medium or a large, though. It's kind of, it is an oversized fit, but even for small, this would be enormous on a small. So I think this was a great little find. Uh, again, these kind of long sleeve sweatshirty type things, I usually get a pretty good price on. So I think I'll comfortably get $40, $45 on that. So this one I picked up because I liked it for me. Like I bought this for me and then I found out what it was and I'm not going to keep it because it's worth too much. Um, I probably shouldn't have anything <laughs> worth this much anyway. So I picked this up because I loved this. And that is some like hand stitched slogan on the front. And when I got home, I looked up the brand Lingua Franca. Like I obviously this tag looks really nice. That looks high end. So I looked them up and they're known for making these like cashmere sweaters with these hand stitched slogans in the front of them. And it can be, you know, anything that they've done, you can order a custom one with like your catchphrase, but that's what they do. And they run like between three and $400 and they resell for like $200. Now again, that's their cashmere sweaters. This is a sweatshirt and it's a collaboration that they did with the Whitney Museum. And this is part of an exhibition or it's in collaboration with an exhibition that they did with Christine Sun Kim. That's what's on the tag here. And this was sold at that exhibition. This retailed for I think $125 or $150. And on the resale market, they're going anywhere between like $75 and $150. I haven't seen another one of this particular slogan. So I'm interested to see, I mean, it's very cool. I will say the sweatshirt is incredibly nice. It looks like the sweatshirt is made by Stateside, which is a really high-end US manufacturer. 
It's that nice French terry. It's very soft on the inside. It's an XL, which is a great size to find. This was just such a cool find. I paid $16 for this, 16 or 18. I think this one was 16. And yeah, at that kind of pricing, I'm not gonna keep it for myself. I'm gonna sell this as new with tags. Um, I just thought that was a really cool find and definitely guys, a brand to be on the lookout for. I never heard of it before this day, but you can bet I will be looking for that label again. Next up, this is one that I found in their like regular thrift section. This is a cute little blush faux wrap dress from Lovers and Friends. Lovers and Friends is a Revolve brand or a brand new, that is sold in Revolve. And this is just a nice like heavy, stretchy fabric. It's a really flattering little cut with that faux wrap. And the skirt is also a faux wrap. It comes down to like just above the knees. It's in fantastic condition. And again, I paid $6 for it. This was something like $225 new. I think that's around what their dresses sell for. And a lot of their dresses are on the resale market. I haven't been able to find this one in particular, but I also didn't spend too much time comping it just yet. But most of their dresses on resale are somewhere between 40 and like $75. So I'll be happy to get even 40 for this. I did pay six for it. I paid up a little bit, but I think I'll get that back. And then some, I thought this was a really cute little find. And finally, this one is the coup de gras. I saw this and I felt the shoulder and I'm like, oh, that feels really nice. And when I pulled it out and looked at the tag, I almost gagged. Let me see if I can show this to you there. Can you see what that says? I don't know if that's picking up at all. So this is a Jenny Kane sweater and it's wool and cashmere blend. It's just a classic cream v-neck sweater. These sell for like $400 and they resell for like $200. Now I paid $19 for this. Again, I paid up quite a bit, um, but I think I'll be able to sell it for somewhere between $150 to $200 like without batting an eye. Um, that's an incredible return, guys. If you are not hip to Jenny Kane, this is an incredible find. This is an ultra bolo brand. If you can find this anywhere, if you can find this in the thrift store, if you can find this secondhand for $25 or $30, if you can find this at the bin, oh my God, I've never found this in a thrift store. I've never found this in the bins, but if you can find it, snap it up. It doesn't matter the price. Just make sure that the condition is nice. This is in really great shape. It needs a, just a hair of like a depilling, but other than that, this is gorgeous. These are lifetime sweaters. Like, you know, yes, these are $400 sweaters. They're very expensive, but like this will never be out of style. You know, it is a cream, like rib knit, like chunky knit V-neck sweater. This will be in somebody's closet forever and ever and ever, so long as they store it with cedar blocks. Can't stress that enough, guys. If you sell any kind of wool, any kind of cotton, any kind of silk, like invest in some cedar blocks. I have like the pack that I use down below. I think there was like 40 pieces for like $15. Like just spend a little money and get some cedar blocks in your closet to make sure that those moths, we're coming up on moth season. So like spend that little bit of money. It is so, so worth it to save your inventory or your own personal clothes for that matter. I'm lucky enough to have a cedar closet here, but in the typical closet where I keep all my inventory, I have probably 50 pieces of cedar in there. <laughs> like I'm, I'm maybe a little overzealous, but I don't, I don't think that there is such a thing when it comes to care of fabrics. So very excited to find this. This was, I think the find of the day. And I had some really good, this and like the Carolina Herrera pants, unbelievable. But that was it guys, that was the haul. What did you think? Did you prefer the bins or did you prefer the more boutique uh, thrift store experience? Very, you know, some real good winners in both of them. Right? Those Car Carolina Herrera pants, the Jenny Kane sweater. I mean, what was the favorite thing? What was your favorite piece that I found today? Let me know, let me know in the comments. But thank you guys so much for hanging with me while I go through these hauls. I have so much fun doing them. I really appreciate you choosing to spend your time with me. I know that there's a million people out there that do this and I really appreciate that you choose you know, to spend your valuable time with me. It really like warms me to my core. If you had fun, don't forget to hit like and subscribe down below. Feel free to hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified anytime I upload something. But guys, without further ado, have a fabulous week. Happy hunting and I will see you in the next one.